today I am in Florida. Me and Garrett decided to take a week-long vacation slash um, business trip. He is doing a certification and he's in class right now so I had plenty of time to sit down and film for you guys. So what I decided to do was to film my toiletries or what I carry in my toiletries bag for like a week-long vacation. I have traveled a lot in my day. Um, I've traveled overseas quite a few times. I've traveled in the States quite a few times and usually it's by plane. So I want to share with you some tips and tricks that I picked up and things that I've developed that have really helped me in traveling and being able to carry everything I want without going over the extra little marker of your bag being too heavy where you have to pay the extra charge, which my bag this time was 44 pounds and Garrett was 45. I was like, yes, I beat you. Cause when we weighed him at home, I was like 47 and he was like 43. So our scale is way off. Anywho, if you wanna see what I have in my, not makeup bag, I have a video on that also. But if you want to see what's in my travel toiletries bag, then just keep watching. I got this little container from Target. It's really cute. I like how it's black and it's very sleek. It came in a set of like three other bags and a traveling set that's in here. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Super cute, right? I know. Um, so it has this mesh side, which I put all of my dry toiletries. And it has this like wax, not waxy, but plasticky clear side that I put all my wet toiletries in so i'm gonna go ahead and start off with my wet toiletries and so in here i have things from various different places like um this little set right here i got from target um this one i've had for a very long time um these i got from my grocery store so um just it's a really a collection of everything so this right here is my conditioner and the little set that I got from Target um, has these little labels. So I put conditioner on here. This is my head and shoulders one. And then in here is my shampoo. It's a head and shoulder shampoo. And I put, I think labeling is a really good idea unless you're really good at um, seeing different color. But since me and Garrett share all of our, pretty much all of my toiletries, um, he uses too. If it's like shampoo, conditioner, body wash and stuff like that. Um, he uses the same stuff. So having it labeled for him is a really good idea. And then in this bottle, I didn't have a label for this. This is, and this is the got to be um, heat styler for flat iron spray. I think that's what it's called, but I just put a little bit in here. And this spray is, sprayer is actually really, really good, um, which all these products can actually go on the plane if I want to do a carry on, but that's what's in there. And then I have this little bitty bag. Um, these were in a Ziploc bag, but uh, we needed it for something else. So <laughs> it is no longer coming with these. This one needed it because this little container right here leaked really bad. I had to wash this Ziploc. So in this container, I just have some antibacterial soap and see it's leaking again, which is disgusting. Um, um, it's just Dawn antibacterial soap. And then right here, I'm gonna have to wash this again, is my Fruit Teas uh, Sleek and Shine Rock and Oil Treatment. I use this every time I get out of the shower. This is a huge lifesaver. Honestly, I would have put this in another container, smaller, but um, it's small enough so and then over here this is just a little bitty version of the nine to five i use this as a makeup spot remover like if i um, mascara like gets on under my eyes or something i can like quickly get it off and reapply the makeup underneath it's really gentle and it's really effective so that is what is in that container and then right up here this is my acne um serum that i use in the morning it's axon and then at night i use Zianna. And I just like a piece size amount of that. I have samples of these, but but I knew I wasn't going to have enough. I put my samples in my carry-on, so in case I lost my luggage, I would have that. But I just went ahead and brought the full size of those. And then in this container, this is the one that came with this bag, which is really cute. And it came with these containers too, not this orange one. But in here, I labeled my toner. I have my face cleanser. The toner is the... Michael Todd Organics Lemon Toner, and this is the Clean and Clear Sensitive um, Foaming Clear Cream Wash. I don't know. I'll insert the name now. But then this right here is my Ole Hendrix Truth Serum Collagen Booster with potent vitamin C. It's really great. I use this under my eyes or on like um, hyperpigmentation. I have it works really really well. It's very effective. Then in here, I have just my body lotion. It's the Nivea, I think, extra strength one. And then I have in here my body wash. Um, it's the Caress Evenly Gorgeous one, I'm pretty sure. It smells like 
warm brown sugar it's really good and in here i have my morning uh, my day and night lotion my night cream clean and clear um, dual action one and then the day cream is just the clean and clear morning burst one and they fit perfectly in here the bottles honestly are really hard to squeeze but i like the tops because they have like this, but i like the tops because it has this little bitty tiny hole in every single one so it works really great for my toner especially so i really like that and they're just like the perfect size for what i need them for for a week and then underneath i brought all these little bitty packets um i have all these like michael todd little bitty things like i have let's see here this uh tropical fruit exfoliating scrub so i don't ha didn't have to bring an exfoliant um face wash even though i did i didn't have to and then this is just like a moisturizer for right now i'm a moisturizer this is the detoxifying facial mask if i really want to deep clean my skin and not use an exfoliation i'll use that and then uh, for delicate wash for like underwear and stuff i got this in a birch box it's the laundress new york it's for like if i have a nice shirt or garrett has a nice shirt and it's got a stain or something i'll wash it in the sink so i have that little sample then i have these two little things this is um these little face masks i'm not a really big fan of them but it's hard to find really deep moisturizing face masks so um this one i've had for a long time it's okay it's not that great but i saw that garnier came out with one and a lot of the girls on here have been putting this on on the plane but what i like to do is put these on as soon as i get to the hotel while i'm like putting my stuff up i'll put this on my remove my makeup put this on my face to really rehydrate my skin after the, a long flight so that's that and then if i ran out of my shampoo or my conditioner i have this little guy this is like a deep conditioner but i had this um i got it in a just fab thing but i went ahead and bought this macadamia deep repair mask this stuff is amazing but it's super expensive for this one packet it was 5.99 but it's definitely worth it i'll use it with a shampoo i'm about to show you over here but i'll do this like right before i leave or if my hair is really straw like i'll use this as soon as i land like um next time i take a shower after i Get off the plane and then i had another one but i have um i usually try to bring these little masks um they're really cheap they're really great this one's a detoxifying one i try to bring a detoxifying one and a moisturizing one everywhere i go and i use the moisturizing one today it's the chocolate one but this one i'm going to use right before i get on the plane to really purify my skin and make me feel new again normally i would do it in reverse i would do this one pretty much as soon as i get off the plane and then the other one I use this one like the beginning of my stay and so I can be relaxed the whole time. My skin can be renewed and I'll use a moisturizing one before I get back on the plane. So those are really, really great. I've traveled a lot, so no. And so I'll just, they're really easy to just like pack back in here. I love this little container. Okay, now moving on to this side, all the dry stuff. Most of it's dry. Um, first I have, I bought this little uh, I bought this little bitty thing for cotton rounds. They're really, really great. Um, I made sure that it was, it's 20 cotton rounds, so I can use it. I use one every single night and sometimes a few during the day, like for nail polish remover and stuff like that. So getting 20 was just a perfect number for me, and it just fit perfectly in my bag. Then I brought some nail polishes. I brought my all-in-one base by Essie, and I did not mean to bring all Essie products. But all my nails now, what I just painted is bare is barefoot is topless and barefoot and then uh set in stones but i see as a top coat i just think it's really really pretty i just use it on a few like this one i have it on these two and this one i just have it on my middle finger and yeah i love that combination then in here i have my dove deodorant i try to find a sample size but i couldn't it's the fragrance free one really really great and then I have fi I found a sample one of Garrett's this is the axe dry in anarchy he really loves this deodorant and he can only use the solid ones so um yeah he has really sensitive underarms then I have his little razor it's just a Gillette uh disposable razor then I have my little Venus um I think this is a sensitive skin one uh throwaway razor and I'll always keep these little guards on there um he had one but he lost his so that one stays there. And then I have this little bitty thing for Q-tips. Honestly, I've had this for years and I just keep refilling it. Um, it's really, really great. You can definitely refill them. They're really awesome. Perfect for traveling. And then in this little container, it's actually a two-sided pill box. 
but on one side I have my apricot uh, St. Ives Apricot um, Exfoliating Face Wash, which I've already used. And then over here I have my Freeman, what's it called? The Anti-Stress Blue um, Dead Sea Minerals Mask. I use that as a spot treatment at night. And it just fit perfectly in this little container, so why not? Then in here, this says Dermatologica, but it's actually was the perfect container for baking soda. So I just put baking soda in here for like a toothbrush or if I really need a deep scrub on my face. Um, baking soda is just a really great all around product. So that's what's in here. And then this, I have this little bitty tub of Big from Lush that I use to really deep clean my hair and I use it on top of the, or underneath the macadamia nut um, deep conditioner thingy. So that's really great. Then I have my favorite Nivea lip butter. I never go to sleep or wake up without this stuff on my lips. It's just amazing. And you can see how much I've used up already. It's just an amazing, amazing lip balm. And then for really dry spots, I have my Vaseline. Um, I had a smaller one, but I just, it's for the lips and it just doesn't do as well with this in my opinion. So you can use this for your cuticles, your lips. Um, I get really dry around my nose. so. And then I have this little comb. I like to use this as soon as I get out of the shower to really, um, it's a wide tooth comb, by the way. I think it's by Evolve. I don't know, got it at Walgreens, really great. Then I have my Evian facial spray, which I put this in my carry or my purse whenever I land so I can quickly miss my face. Um, and I have it on me pretty much all the time, especially since I'm at the beach, it's really hot and this is really great refresher. And then I have my mini L'Oreal Elnet Satin Hairspray, which is really, really great absolutely love it then i have some more little u pins i have if you've seen my travel makeup bag i have some of these in there too but it's just really really great little case i highly recommend it to you guys it comes with multiple things and it's just awesome all right guys that is everything that i have in my toiletries bag if you have any questions or even if you have any tips for me or anybody else leave it in the comments below because we can all learn from each other and yeah because i went and watched like every single travel video before i went and traveled on the airplane to make sure everything that I was doing was up to code because I haven't traveled in the past on a plane in the past well actually no I went on a plane on my honeymoon eight, nine ten months ago December um anyways thank you guys so much for watching I hope you found it helpful and yeah leave more tips and tricks down below so we can all learn from each other anywho thank you so much for watching and yeah I'll talk to y'all later bye